Good morning. Happy August 1st. It's the first of the month. I am doing the 50 kilometer outside challenge for Canada Heart and Stroke Foundation this month. I gotta walk at least 1.6 kilometers every day. Today's day one, I'm gonna go down this trail right here. It's part of the Oshawa Bike and Hiking Trail. I think it's called the Ken Star Trail, but I'm not positive. This used to be an old railroad. I'm walking parallel to uh, Ritson Road and Mary Street and it's nice and shady in here and it really out there that sun is a scorcher today it's about midday we're getting up in over 30 degrees today it's gonna be a hot one so I have lots of water I'm gonna have lots of shade I'm gonna take breaks when I need it I'm gonna try to get my heart rate up and have a good cardio workout Another day. This is the crossing of the trail at Roslyn. It used to be the worst part of the trail because the traffic is always bad. Even though there's a crosswalk here, they finally put in lights. So here we go. Look at all that traffic. I'm going to beat it all. Thank for the, that light. It's a great trail, but this intersection was always terrible. So Canada Heart and Stroke Foundation, really close to my heart. My dad's family mostly all suffers from some form of heart disease and heart issues. My mom is in heart failure right now because 26 years ago, she had radiation on a tumor near her heart. They couldn't protect her heart and they gave her a choice. They said, we either get rid of the tumor that's trying to kill you and you get heart problems down the road or would let the tumor do its thing. Pretty glad to have her. Really hard to watch her go through this and hopefully heart and stroke, all the research they're doing will come up to solutions for my kids in the future.
also my favorite part of this trail. Cut through here. There's hiking trails and mountain biking trails all through here. It's always shady. Nice breeze. Probably bugs. But that's okay. We're gonna go this way. It's way more scenic than that path. Mountain bikers love it in here. Down there, our trails. There's one up and around. We're gonna take this one today. Last time I was in here, it was too muddy. It's a little bit rooty down here, but not slippery today, thankfully. Mary Street. Close off for construction. Beatrice back there. I'm on my way to Taunton. The only problem I'm having is my sweat keeps running in my eyes and stinging. It's driving me crazy. I need to find a solution to that. If everybody has one, please let me know. All right, I made it up to Taunton. I'm back down south a little bit. I'm just stopping for a cold drink. I've been hiking for about an hour. So I'm gonna take a break now and then make the hike back. Alright, so sitting there having my drink, that guy down there is having a spat with a guy that just walked by his dog. A little bit of drama going on. So I popped back in the store for a few minutes. I have my trekking pole with me and I have an air horn with me for defense, but I don't want to be involved. So now I'm heading back. This is not the greatest area in Oshawa. Before I left home, my daughter-in-law says, please take the air horn, take something to defend yourself. People are letting their dogs off and lots of squabbling and it's never happened to me before. I did today. Keep safe, my friends. All right, I've given angry guys some time to get out of here. A couple just walked by and so they didn't see anybody down there. So hopefully it's gonna be a safe walk for me back without coming across angry guy or angry dog. Oh, There's a graveyard over there. I brought the kids up here once. We were walking to Dairy Queen. And Little Ben at the time called that Deadland. So that is officially called Deadland to us. <laughs> All right, back down here. I'm going to turn off my recording because a lot more. So, equipment today good backpack. Abby and I traded backpacks. So I got all my stuff that I had in my great backpack in there. Chest pack, walking stick. My chest pack has an air horn in it and a bunch of other little things that might help me as I go, including sunscreen. Don't forget your sunscreen. 
There's somebody up there with two big dogs a second ago. I gave them some time to get around the corner. They look like they were on leash, on leash I mean, but I couldn't tell. So hopefully they've zipped around the corner and I won't have to deal with them. We have a big dog too, so I am in no way suggesting that all big dogs are dangerous, but this isn't a great area. And off-leash dogs can be a little unpredictable. And you know, you just never know. So safety first, always. I just met up with the lady with the two big dogs and they are beautiful. They're big bull mastiffs, so friendly. Oh my gosh, I had to stop. I needed to pet them and I need a hydration break. So here's what we got. Cold Gatorade from the store up at Taunton. This is my fanny pack. I've got some basic stuff in here, including my sunscreen. I needed that because I am wearing girl pants that have terrible pockets and I can't keep my cell phone in there. So, cell phone. And then I have my pack with all my stuff, including my extra water and my trekking pole. Just about finished that Gatorade and then I'm going to be on my way again. Just quickly check the weather been out here for about an hour and 10 minutes it's 30 degrees celsius which is 86 degrees fahrenheit and that's with all the humidity and stuff and it's just kind of gross so i've got my pack off for a little while i'm just going to air out drink my gatorade in the shade stay cool and hydrated my friends all right i'm rehydrated and i am slightly cooled off it's time to start hiking again back down the trail my finish line that stop sign right there is where I started all right I made it thanks for joining me today Oh my goodness. All right. Here we go. 6,400 steps, 4.19 kilometers. That's pretty good for day one. <laughs> 